Never pop a new guinea. They flew a long way. They love pig on the stick and the American way. I represent the country of Papua New Guinea. It's 100 miles north of Australia. Population of 7.5 million people and over 800 different languages and cultures found in Papua New Guinea. So we had quite a large task of bringing that kind of diversity of Papua New Guinea to America. Uh, so that's why we're here. This June in New York, we're building a Papua New Guinea village in New York City. And we've got two cultural representatives coming up just for this event, first time to New York. We have Mungia Kapanga. He's from the Huli tribe, and they're known mostly for their elaborate wigs made out of human hair. So they'll actually go 18 months in seclusion to grow out their hair, uh, where they can't really be around anybody because they have to get their hair just right and create these very ornate wigs that you can see on him. And also Fabian Paino from the New Ireland province, who as of a couple days ago just became the master carver of the whole country. So he's very talented in the Malagan artwork, and so everything he's wearing has actually been created by him, in most cases made out of just one piece of wood. So they're here in New York, they're going around the city, they're meeting New Yorkers, they're dancing down the streets, they're singing with the naked cowboy, they're riding the subway, they're rocking out with the performers on the subway trains. They're really just seeing the top of the Empire State Building, getting those amazing views, and essentially they're here to build a bridge, and they're building a bridge back to Papua New Guinea and inviting Americans to continue the journey that they started here today and actually visit Papua New Guinea. So we're a land of a million different journeys, and we take the journey up to New York, and now we're inviting Americans to take the journey back. <laughs>